What is going on guys, Slick Beer, and today I have, I'm very excited about what I'm going to talk about today. I just wanted to um, say it has to do with World of Warships. I'm sure you read the title, you're here, I'm excited too. Uh, before the video starts, before I start to talk about the ship and what it what it's going to hold, uh, just know that all this information is leaked, it's liable to be changed, I don't know, you know, I, I don't, and I'm not going to show you any footage, because I don't have any footage, and if I did, it'd be leaked stuff that I stole from somebody who's probably going to lose their job, because this information's out there, but as it looks like now, it's going to be in game, so without further ado, let's do some Tone Talk. Alright guys, so, Tone, let's talk Tone. So, the Tone class cruiser is a Japanese cruiser made during World War II, or um, a little bit before World War II, whatever, right? It's a war, it was used in World War II as scout cruisers. Now, they were heavy cruisers. They were the last made by the Imperial Japanese Navy, or the IJN. But these things are very interesting. So, the way the turret scheme is located, as you see in the pictures that you're looking at right now, the turrets are aligned in a four front, kind of like a Nelson or an Azumo. I know those have nothing to do with them, but all the turrets of the ship are located in the front of the ship before, uh, you know, like the bridge and stuff like that. So one is elevated behind the first, and then the other two, one's facing the back of the ship and one is facing the front. Now, I don't know what this is going to hold for how the ship plays. My guesses are it's going to be very easily citadeled in the front of the ship because now that, that, that turret area where the Otago's turrets sit, right in the beginning of the ship, the front of the ship, um, that's really easily citadeled. Now, since all of the turrets on the ship are right there, I'm assuming that the citadel is going to be there and it's going to be easily penned and easily blown up. I, don't, I have no idea, but uh, that's, that's my guess, is that it's going to be easily citadeled and easily set on fire. Now, the thing with these ships in real life were they carried a lot of planes. They were scout cruisers. They usually went out ahead of the fleet, and they would scout. They could carry multiple planes on the deck. As you can see, I'll show a over like an overhead design. You can see it had two arms to shoot planes off of, and it carried, I think, three extra maybe? I'm not sure. But it carried a lot of planes. Um, you know, that, that it's pretty crazy how many planes it carried. We're going to talk about armament a little bit. So, oh, this thing was armed with eight 203 millimeter guns. Um, I believe they're the same size as the other cruisers in of the Japanese tier. It had eight 127 millimeter guns as the secondary armament. It had 12 25 millimeter AA guns and 1200 610 12 610 millimeter torpedo tubes. So four sets of three torpedo tubes. I believe two on each side. So, wait, four sets of three. Yes, two on each side. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, hold on, I lost myself. So the belt armor on this bad boy is 3.9 inches, and the deck armor is 2.6 to 1.2 in, in different areas, and it could carry six float planes. It had two catapults. Now, I want to know in-game if this thing is going to be able to launch both planes. I mean, that's a natural question. And if it can launch two planes at a time, can they be different? So they could it be a fighter and a scout plane? So you could, you know, have both, or could it be two fighters? Or are you going to have loadouts for planes that you can carry? I don't know, but I think that would be interesting if you could do that. Now it has the normal setup for torpedo tubes, so we know this ship is going to be able to perform. We know the guns are going to be pretty accurate, uh, aligned with like the Otago class, like how the Otago plays. So the guns are going to be accurate, they're going to be good, the torps are going to be deadly, the ship is going to be fast. Um, so, you know, uh, it could go 40 miles an hour, that, 35 knots. That's pretty fast for a cruiser, it's a heavy cruiser. The armor is alright. So I'm interested to see this thing in game, I want to see how it plays. We know it's, well, I know, uh, I'm not showing the footage, but it's going to be a tier 8 premium, if it does enter the game like it should. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little analysis. I know I've been stumbling on my words. I don't know. It's weird to talk to nothing because I'm not even looking at the pictures that I'm showing you guys right now. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be the tone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to it like I am. There's a couple other secret ships that were shown that I'm going to be talking about in the future. So stay tuned with this playlist. Uh, and yeah, 
I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.